What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are here once again on Anime Punch Simulator. Now yes, before you guys start saying in the comments, I know, where have I been for like this past month since I haven't uploaded for that amount of time and obviously a lot of you have been asking questions. And just to give a short answer about it, I kind of got a little bit overloaded with like IRL stuff and whatnot. So yeah, unfortunately, I had to put YouTube on the side for a bit, but it's fine since we're back now for hopefully the rest of uh, March and April. But anyways, enough of talking about that. Let's jump right into update 10 of Anime Punch Simulator. So I think the best way to start things off is probably going to be having a look at the update log. Now having a quick read through the update log, a lot of stuff was added. For example, the usual new map. This time it's going to be the Slime kingdom which if i'm not mistaken is the anime with like rimuru in it something like that uh we also have some new features relics in the trial chest double sword in the trial shop okay those sound interesting then we also have a brand new two times energy area which is going to be found in the new map really really nice uh auto reroll talent i think that's something that's been requested for quite a while now so really good uh new talent z okay and the new vault secondary grip and then the last bit of stuff, I mean there's two new fruits, uh, three new achievements, added a chest room, which I believe is how you get these relics, uh, reduced by half the quantity of gem drops, okay, and then you can read the rest, it's pretty simple stuff. But anyways, now that we're done with the update log, I guess the first thing that we can check out is probably going to be the new achievements right over here. Now if I'm not mistaken, the new ones are going to be these expansion ones, so you know, there is uh, expansion 2 for reaching room 30 uh i think there's one as well for reaching room 10 yes there is there's also reaching one for room 50 which i don't think anyone can reach right now so yeah but hey plus one equip that's pretty good but apart from that i think that's all the new achievements i mean obviously i have you know still quite a lot of others left to do but don't worry eventually i will probably make a video where you know i try maxing out the game in the near future now moving on from there this wasn't added in this update however i think this is probably something important to mention since you know it's pretty good and that is going to be the chest group right over here so if we just go over over it as you can see we're going to be getting a bunch of stuff 250 trial coins five raid tickets 20 family stones 20 divine stones super energy and a reset stats which is going to be the most broken thing i think in this chest now why do i say that well it's for the simple reason that if we head on over to i believe it is world world five yeah and right over here to the ascensions which i can actually do however i'm not going to do it right now since i have a bunch of energy saved up and it would end up being a complete waste however as i was saying as you can see right now i do have 22 resets stored and the reason being is because as you can see right now i have 47 points in energy but only like three points in damage and then zero in the other two and yeah what i can do with these resets now is i can exchange all of these points into damage and then you know i can exchange it back obviously it will depend on what i'm doing at the time for example if i'm doing energy today then i'll keep it in energy if i'm doing like full on damage stuff then i put it all into damage but yeah you get the point every two days i can pretty much like you know swap back and forth so yeah that's really really broken but anyways i think it's now time to unlock the brand new world which is going to be found right over here the portal you know is not too far i mean it's right in the football field and it's only going to be costing 400 octane Tillion, and then uh, I think that's D de, uh, Decillion. Uh, I have NVD, so yeah, that isn't a problem at all. Let's teleport on through, and there we go. We're now in the Slime Kingdom. Now, if we have a look at the egg, it is going to be costing 1.25 SPD per open, which again isn't too bad since you know I have a bunch of gems. So maybe I might do a bunch of hatching, you know, maybe in this video. However, there is something even more important here: the two times energy area. 
Now, I think this area is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Keep in mind that right now, I don't have all my energy stuff equipped. But as you can see, right now, I'm getting 15 quintillion. And then if I walk in, it's going to double. I mean, it's pretty simple. Now, the other things that were added in this update are going to be found right over here. The relics, which I have, in fact, done a few dungeons and gotten, you know, a few of them. And just to quickly scroll through them, you know, so then you can understand, you know, what they give. For example, this monster skull over here, 1.5x energy. This pot of iron, 1.5x damage and then it kind of keeps on repeating so you know one energy one damage and then it goes all the way up to mythical now unfortunately i don't have any of these yet however i can show you know what these do for example my best energy one is going to be the magic stuff three times energy and then the spell no actually the fantasy cloak is my best damage one 2.5 x damage which is you know pretty good and as well keep in mind i got all of this from the medium time trial so don't worry if you're like me and you know you can't really do the hard time trial because you know you're too weak but probably the hard time trial is going to be kind of like the minimum if you're trying to go for like the mythicals and stuff now if i'm not mistaken not only that in this trial lobby there is also the double sword right over here yes this is actually the first thing can't believe i missed it uh, and it will be costing you twenty four thousand five hundred trial coins which is you know pretty expensive and then as well 20 of these if I'm not mistaken, these are Celestial Shards, which you can get in the Hard Time Trial. Now, obviously, I think most of you are probably seeing, you know, the issue here. If you're too weak to do the Hard Time Trial, how on earth are you supposed to get these Celestial Shards? Well, actually, I think there is an alternative which is available right now, and that is going to be the codes right over here. Now, starting off with the first code, we have Happy Easter, and if we claim it, we're going to be getting Reset Stats along with the Celestial Shards, like I said. Uh, a Grimoire Ticket, we'll have a look at that as well, and then... 50 trial coins and a damage potion then moving on to the second code we have update 10 which is going to be giving pretty similar stuff five celestial shards one grimoire ticket and a hundred trial coins and then the final code that was added in this update remure bug uh i think that's how you pronounce it uh we're gonna quickly claim it and as you can see we got again the same things now obviously those aren't the only codes there are actually a bunch more codes which if i'm not mistaken give you a bunch of celestial shards for example if we head on over to my inventory right now i have 47 and i'm just saying i didn't get a single one of these from the hard time trial so yeah if you do want the codes then make sure you do join uh this game's discord since they definitely have a codes channel somewhere uh and then you know all the codes will be there then you just you know copy and paste it's that simple and then yeah with those codes you can get a bunch of those celestial shards now the last thing that i believe was added in this update is going to be found right over here at the chain city and then heading on over to the talents and that is going to be the z talent right over here now unfortunately right now i don't have it and again i don't think i have enough points to get it since i believe the chances are like you know kind of the divine 0.0 zero one percent chance and yeah you know that if it's that rare this amount of points is probably not gonna be enough however no need to worry i am going to be popping up a screenshot right now of what the stats give just in case you're interested you know on seeing you know how good it is and yeah if i remember correctly it is actually pretty insane like the increases actually speaking of which there is actually one thing which i almost forgot to mention and that is going to be the two new fruits that were added in this update and those are going to be the mochi fruit which is going to be giving 10 times more damage and the mera fruit which unfortunately i don't have unlocked right now but i can tell you from now uh it gives a 14x energy multiplier so it is uh four times better than uh this one the phoenix fruit and as well just in case you're interested these are the chances for them 0.1 percent for the mochi fruit and 0.05 percent for the mera fruit and yeah with that being said that is if i'm not mistaken everything that was added in this update now don't worry the video is isn't over just yet there are still a few things that you know i want to do on camera just so then you know you can see the process and then maybe i might end up getting something really rare for example from those codes that we did we got a bunch of these uh i believe they're called grimoire tickets you know these green things right over here and they can be used over here to spawn a boss which
which if I'm not mistaken then can be used uh, these like uh, I don't know what you call these I got to be honest but yeah this currency can be used you know to roll uh, the grimoires the second one at least yeah this one right over here now obviously I'm not gonna roll this nature grimoire I'd rather do my second one which if I'm not mistaken is the dark grimoire but before we do that let me just quickly use the rest of these grimoire tickets and there we go that is that done now we're gonna have to teleport all the way back over to the lobby and then you know we have to switch out everything so secondary grimoire dark grimoire equipped and then let's head on back over to the clover world and then let's start spinning and see if we can get anything better than the nature grimoire hopefully the wind grimoire or the love grimoire at least but then obviously if i can get one of these you know that's obviously going to be much better but i doubt i'm going to be getting that so nature grimoire first roll second roll dark uh dark again come on something good and okay we're ending off on a bit of an l but hey it's fine since i do actually have a bunch of trial coins uh where are they where are they right over here 13,000 of them so if i really want to i can buy more grimoire tickets they cost like 500 trial coins each and then yeah obviously i think you get the point i buy more grimoire tickets i get more of the grimoire currency and then you know i roll more now moving on from there the second thing that i want to try out in doing is going to be this domain expansion since if we head on over to you know the rewards as you can see we can get three of these I believe they're curses and if I look at the inventory and right over here they are these things uh, the Mycobex, the Infestus Charm and the Squid Shadow Affliction. Now I got to be honest I have absolutely zero clue what these do and I doubt I'm going to be getting any of them. If I even have a chance of getting them it's going to be this one over here since you know I probably can't get past wave 20. But hey don't worry it's fine I mean worst case scenario I'll just you know grind out a bunch of these in the next video so you know I'll I'll use that two times energy area and I'll get really, really strong. But anyways, let's jump on in and see if we can get anything good. And also, this is probably going to take, you know, a long time to run to each and every single one of the enemies. So yeah, cue the time lapse. And okay, I think this is going to be the final kill that I'm going to be getting. And yes, there we go. We managed to get one of the achievements at least. Now that took a long time. As you can see, we started off at 30 minutes. Now there's only 12 minutes left. So yeah, that's, you know, was a little bit annoying to do, but it's fine. Let's quickly head on over to World 1 and then claim that achievement. Now it's going to be found right over here and it is going to be giving me two times more energy. So yeah, definitely really helpful. And then the next one, I'm going to need to be reaching room 30. Now that's not going to be happening anytime soon. So let's skip that for now and move on to the final thing that we're going to be doing in this video. And that is going to be hatching since, you know, I need to get strong and one of the best ways to do that is getting the new pets or should i say heroes since they aren't really kind of pets you know what i mean but yeah let's quickly put on auto delete for everything except mythicals and secrets and then yeah let's quickly put on the auto hatch uh i'm going to leave it for a few hours i guess until i run out of money whichever one comes first and yeah once that's done i'll cut back and then we'll have a look and see if i was able to get you know any secrets so yeah see you guys in probably what is going to be a long long time and there we go just like that we are now back after many many hours of hatching and the question is did we get a secret well if you have a look at my inventory we did not unfortunately however we did manage to get a bunch of these shiny mythicals in fact i have a bunch extra which means once i'm able to take on the hard trial you know solo and stuff i can actually make a few of these celestial which will 
be really really good especially for you know getting energy and yeah i guess you can have a look you know these are the stats um the shinobu for was like from two worlds ago uh the white snake was from like three worlds ago and overall this is what i have in my inventory pretty nice well anyways i think i'm going to be leaving off today's video here i hope you enjoyed it once again we did a lot of grinding in this video although i would have preferred that you know we could have done a little bit more for example uh handling that domain expansion thing in world 22 but hey all of this stuff is kind of you know showing for one thing i need to start afk grinding a lot on this game so yeah i think for the foreseeable future i'm just gonna be here in this two times area with an auto clicker on and everything to make sure i don't disconnect Apart from that, I just want to quickly say if you did end up enjoying this video and want to see more, then feel free to drop a like and sub down below because not only does it show your support, but it also lets me know that, you know, you want to see more videos on this game. And the last thing that I want to say is that I do actually have a Discord server since apparently a lot of you don't know about it. It is linked in the description of any video, so just, you know, scroll down description and the invite is right there and by joining my discord you will be notified with you know if i do a giveaway for example or when i upload i always you know ping my discord server so that way um if you'd want you know the extra notification then yeah you can just go to my discord server but anyways that's all i have to say for today's video i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody